and all right, bro. We know about online gambling, gang. Like, you come on, bro. Fully so, been a lot of debate and deliberation as to where this type of content should exist, brother. Drake is a rapper. If he does a gambling deal, he's not a goody two shoe influencer. He talks about getting niggas killed. Okay, hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> body bags and chains for Louis bags. Like, we, we, like stop looking to Drake to be the moral police. Like, oh my God, he's gambling. He gambles all the time. He's a degenerate. He just lost six hundred thousand because he bet on Adesanya and he got his ass whipped. He got choked up. So Drake Damn. has always been a loser when it comes to gambling, but he's always put it out there. I gamble. So I'm, Damn. You know. So if you think like Edgy. Drake is above doing a gambling deal, oh, no. okay. Like yo, it's, he's a rapper. Like nobody was like. Do you think Playboy Cardi's above scamming Aiden? No, he's a rapper. Damn. He's a rapper, bro. There's no codes of like ethics. These are rappers. <laughs> what? The, like yo, all these niggas would do it. Like now, influencers usually these guys are like preaching. Oh my God, be good guys. Never scam. They're exposing other scammers. Yeah, you look at the influencers and be like, why are you doing it? This is kind of weird. This is kind of like degenerate beneath you. Blah blah blah. Da da da. Drake is like, come on, nobody cares about him and his gambling. I'm sorry. Allow such things. So, so when I heard that, I was like, did academics just kind of throw Drake under the bus about his gambling addiction and about steak? And then somebody sent me this video. Drake loses so much that him betting on you to win anything is basically like placing the Drake curse on you. For those who missed it, Drake recently placed a $450,000 bet on Nigerian UFC star Israel Adesanya to defeat UFC middleweight champion Drakus Duplessis in their recent showdown. Drake was set to walk away with a whopping $850,000 if Israel had won the fight. But wouldn't you know it? At the very last moment, the Drake curse kicked in and Israel lost by choke submission. Duplessis, who won the match, took to Twitter to troll Drake by sharing a photo of himself with the belt and the caption from the bottom. Now, this is this is what academics was just was just why can i not talk today fuck i need to drink some water <laughs> this is what academics was just talking about right of my heart once again thank you at drake fans were in the comments having a field day with drake drake is the worst gambler ever well done champ making south africa proud drake just keep betting against the champ and we'll keep the legacy of your curse alive but what is this drake curse and why does it get brought up so often well drake is a known gambler and at least from what he has shown the public he loses much more than he wins for instance this isn't the first time drake has lost a bet on israel adesanya during israel's first ufc fight with alex Pereira, drake reportedly staked two million canadian dollars on israel to win the fight with an expected payout of 2.9 million dollars but the drake curse struck and israel got knocked out a few minutes to the end of the match drake even recently got trolled by the Argentina national team after their win against Canada during the Copa America semifinal. Yeah. Drake wagered $300,000 on the Canadian squad Damn. to win against Argentina, but they ended up losing 2 no. After the match, the Argentina squad's official Twitter account posted this photo with the caption, not like us. I remember that. I remember that. Us, not with us. Ooh, that was a burn. I know Drake was in his house slamming bottles against the wall because y'all know he's a sensitive boy. And now you're probably wondering, this just sounds like Drake is a man who enjoys sports and likes to bet on his favorite teams. Also, he's one of the richest rappers in the world, so he can afford to gamble here and there. But this is where you need to sit tight and listen because this story is about to get much darker. Okay, so you know how we mentioned- Allegedly! Let me say everything that y'all about to hear. Uh, I'm not agreeing with it. I'm just here spectating and listening. So, you know, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying- allegedly okay this is this person's opinion and i'm just here giving my point of view as a podcaster <clears throat> that Drake has a gambling addiction? Well, he has actually been very open about it. Back in 2022, it was revealed that within months of joining a gambling site called Stake, Drake had gambled over $1 billion. In a live stream interview with Stake in 2022, Drake opened up about his addiction. I wasn't really gambling like that five years ago. I wasn't really into it. I started in Vegas. I had a residency at one point in Vegas, and I would perform at this hotel, and that kind of got me into it. I started to attach emotion to it, which people say don't do, but I used to live by the mantra, it's business, not personal, but it's definitely personal and not business. Gambling is another thing I make it personal. I bet my mom's birthday. I bet my brother's kid's birthday. I bet my birthday, and I just write it out. In that same live stream, Drake played different games on the stake site and won a whopping 30 million after staking 10 million dollars. Listen to people tonight. Get, get, get. Yes! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He won 30 million dollars on live stream. Holy moly, donut shop. Let's go. What did I say? I'm not playing around. Who are we blessing? Get, get on. Yeah, get on. Tipping yeah, sure. we're tipping right now. We're tipping in the chat. Oh, and he also lost everything within 90 minutes, including the 10 million he started with. Drake looked like a full blown addict in this live stream, placing a $1,400 bet that could lead to bankruptcy within minutes every time he clicked the space bar. Drake even started talking crazy about energy being important to winning the game. See you guys saying put something on zero, but you know, you know the key is I hate to direct the energy anywhere else than what we believe in. I always feel like, by the way, this is all luck, chance, and timing. So if you direct the energy somewhere else, it means you're nervous. I don't like to direct the energy away from what we believe in. However, one thing that was obvious from that live stream was that Drake was getting a check one way or another. Each live stream attracts hundreds of thousands of viewers, which means more money, more ad revenue, and more potential gamblers to sign up. Even if he lost $30 million, Drake was still getting paid because of his partnership with Stake. In fact, allegedly. 
The $10 million he initially staked was probably just company money used to stage the whole thing and make it look like Drake was just doing it for the love of gambling. Allegedly! Gambling. Roulette is my game. I am a ritualistic better. I bet on my son's birthday. So that's how I'm going to start it off. My mom's birthday, my birthday. But when you find out just how rotten and shady this partnership is, you might lose your appetite for the rest of today. As it turns out, this company has more skeletons than an ancient burial site. And they have been preying on young people all over the world through celebrities like Drake, who are well aware Allegedly! of how harmful the lifestyle they're promoting is. Enter Eddie Craven, the 26-year-old co-founder and face of the world's biggest online cryptocurrency casinos, Stake. So basically, Stake is an online crypto casino that offers a range of gambling games with odds that seem too good to resist. But you know what they say, the house always has an edge. Now what most people don't know is that online crypto gambling is mostly unregulated because this form of gambling is actually illegal in many countries, including the USA and Australia, where Ed Craven is from. So Craven and his co-founder, Bijan Tehran, went to Curacao, a struggling island with more relaxed laws and set up camp there. This was in 2017. As of August 19th, 2024, Forbes lists Craven's net worth as $1.3 billion. But how did Stake get so successful within such a short period of time if it's technically illegal in most countries? One of the ways to do this is by finding loopholes in the law. The next is to, Allegedly. to recruit as many pop culture icons as they can find who are willing to sell their souls for a check. The first line of people in this category is streamers. A Wired review found that 64 of the top 1,000 most trafficked Twitch streamers have streamed crypto slots or advertised sponsorship deals from crypto gambling websites. And some of these streams attract more than 100,000 live viewers. Take Adam Ross, for example. The same Adam who sponsored a coin called MILF Token and later tried to clown his followers after the whole thing fell apart. It's IG number one Discord for stock tips Aiden must buy AMC today. Should I buy that MILF Token I did a while back? I already told you guys, don't buy that. I'll get a bag to do that. <laughs> like, I don't give a f How many guys actually bought it? <laughs> Aiden, is there any way you can help me out? Aiden also revealed. Damn. That's kind of fucked up, Aiden. That's kind of fucked up that he was paid $2 million to promote the online casino Rubet. Even one of the Nelk boys, Steve Will Do It, recently announced that he was getting paid millions to promote Rubet. Then there's the Trainwrex TV, the largest crypto casino Twitch streamer in the world. Trainwrex moved to Canada to pursue his gambling sponsorship with Stake, getting paid around $1 million per month. And when he gets confronted with the fact that he's basically promoting a vice that can ruin the lives of his fans, who are mostly kids, he says things like, I went some documentary hard on some games in high sets of nine, later 5K. Yeah, you shouldn't gamble, bro. I'm, I'm confused in what world my stream at all. And just with what I say or what I stream, I'm, I'm confused. I literally said I'm losing 9 million in like 48 minutes. And you're sitting here thinking you're uh, uh, $3,000 is going to do something like you just have to be a stupid idiot like it just that's simple. it gets even shadier you know those bets Drake placed on Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira fights well it would turn out that Israel and Alex are in sponsorship deals with stake so whatever money Drake supposedly lost in those bets was likely covered by the company the worst part wait what So once again, I'm saying allegedly because I don't know the details. I don't know if this is correct or not. So y'all just listen to it while I'm listening to it. We all listening it together. I'm just saying it's very interesting. Because I heard DJ Academics talk about it and then someone sent me this video. So I said, hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not saying anything. I'm just, I'm just saying, hmm. You know, the, things that make you go, hmm. I'm just, hmm. This is, this is interesting. You know, hmm. No, I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying these are the things that make you. God damn it, play, play my damn shit, bitch. Things that make you go. Hmm. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. You know, things that make you go. Things that make you go. Hmm. hmm. It's interesting is that even though Drake and all these celebrities know what they're doing is leading their followers into a lifestyle that could ruin them, they justify it by giving tongue-in-cheek disclaimers and saying, everyone has a choice. Drake even goes as far as trying to make it seem like he's gambling to give back to the people. In his official announcement of his partnership with Stake on his Instagram page, Drake said, it was inevitable. Drake and Stake have come together. I am going to be announcing a date for an upcoming live event where I play to win some real money and give it all to you. Because what's better than sharing the love with my people? Stay tuned for details. Trying to make gambling look like some Robin Hood cause for the good of people is nasty work. Another time, Drake donated $1 million in Bitcoin to LeBron James's family foundation from his roulette winnings. Not LeBron trying to act surprised. The whole thing was giving publicity stunt. Like, let me quickly donate some money to make my gambling look less bad. And don't get it twisted. Everyone does have Damn. their life choices to make. However, according to this survey from Backlinko.com, the majority of Twitch users are aged 16 to 24. That same survey states that about 63% of Twitch users are male, and 73% of them are under the age of 34. Damn. Also, do y'all think it's a coincidence that Stake almost exclusively collaborates with athletes? They somehow convinced English football teams like Watford, Everton, and Gillingham to endorse their platform. Stake also has sponsorship deals with Formula One reserve driver Pietro Fittipaldi and his brother, Formula Two driver Enzo Fittipaldi. 
Capaldi. In fact, Snake was the title sponsor for the Alfa Romeo F1 team in 2023, which transferred to Sauber after Alfa Romeo left F1 at the end of the season. So when you have a bunch of young men and boys who idolize Drake, athletes, and Twitch streamers, and you start glamorizing gambling and making gambling addiction look cool, what do you expect will happen? Now, what a lot of people can't understand is why Drake feels the need to publicly associate himself with a company as shady as Stake. He has been topping the charts for years now, even when he released trash music. Despite the whole beef with Kendrick and the disturbing allegations that came with it, Drake still has a pretty solid fan base that will spend all their coins on him. So why? The simple answer is that Drake is getting paid such a fat check from this company that he doesn't care who gets hurt in the process. The other, not so simple explanation is that Drake got manipulated into this because of his own gambling addiction. Fans have left comments suggesting the same thing, like one person saying, Drake better watch out. The casinos are trying to get him addicted. He's a big whale. After his promo ends, he's going to keep playing with the money he made. Then after that's gone, his own money. Another person said, please speak on this more. Drake is scamming. He no longer cares about the music. His whole thing now is chasing the billionaire club. And sadly, he's willing to do anything for it with his mass fan base. But these kids are gambling at such a young age. It's sad. But do y'all think Drake sold his soul for the bag? Or is he just dealing with a gambling addiction and needs help? Comment down below and then check out this next video. You just said you know how to do it. And you proved that you never used that filet of fish set. And I know you don't know how to do it. The hell? I'm blessing the people tonight. <laughs> um, so that brings me to this. So was this what Kendrick was talking about? Because y'all remember when Kendrick said, you're not a rap artist, you're a scam artist, just like Lee said. So was this what Kendrick was talking about? Y'all remember when, when Kendrick was talking about the gambling problem? You're not a rap artist, you're a scam artist, and allegedly, you know... They saying that, you know, I mean, y'all just heard what y'all just heard. I ain't got to repeat it. But is, is, is that is that what Kendrick was talking about? Was he was he was he talking about steak being a scam? You, you, you're not a. So I'm just. Could it be? Uh, could it be? I'm just saying I'm not saying it just, you know, things that make you go. hmm. You know, things that make you go. Hmm. So I'm just, it's just very interesting that, you know, all the things that Kendrick is saying is kind of, you know, I know, being shown, but I'm not saying that's, that's, I'm just saying that, that that's, I'm just saying what I'm saying. That, 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 I'm just saying, could it be? All right. <clears throat> so moving on. gonna be all right act. It's, it's, act it's gonna be okay but was this kendrick being right again kendrick was right video title coming up soon <laughs> god damn kendrick kendrick said that you got a ga gambling problem kendrick said that you you're not a uh you're not a rap artist you're a scam artist and and allegedly you know the stuff that i heard Maybe that's what Kendrick was talking about. I don't know. <clears throat> Moving on. Things that make you go. Hmm. 